I live here. Actually, I live in this building. This very, very large part of the building. Surprisingly, it's a lot cheaper than living in that building, which is the main student housing building for the college I attend. The campus is in that general direction. I live in this room with my two roommates, Logan and Eric. My girlfriend Jordan and her two roommates live in this room. It's rather convenient. We're practically communists. We, uh, I mean, by that we share a Wi-Fi and a laundry machine. Anyways, back to that night. Around 11, I went to Jordan's room to watch Desperate Housewives with her. <sighs> the things I do. At 12.01, and I know because I checked, my roommate, Logan, called me to tell me that he had been watching the news and the shit was about to hit the fan at Woodruff Park. This is where, for the past couple weeks, Occupy Atlanta protesters have been conveniently occupying my favorite lunch spot. Actually, me and Jordan were up there earlier. We went back later that night. It was very different this time. Jordan reluctantly agreed to go with me. Once we got there, uh, she didn't want to be there.
to be in the news, in the current event. I imagine myself all over the world, shooting stories, following the conflicts, wherever I needed to be to get the current event on camera. And then that was it. This is the last shot I got. Jordan wanted to go home. And I wasn't about to let her walk home by herself. Not at night, not in the streets of Atlanta. So I went with her. And I don't know what I felt. I don't know if it was frustration or anger towards her or what. But as I walked through the streets, I suddenly started to realize that she was becoming more important to me than getting the story, if you will. Yeah, I wanted to go on adventures, and yeah, I do want to see the world, but I want her to be part of it. I want her to be a part of my adventure.